So, I will explain to you instead. Um, we can jump to ano, CBO method. What is CBO? What is campaign budget optimization? Before we discuss the split testing strategies. No? So, CBO. Jump tayo sa CBO. CBO. Mm, okay. Campaign budget optimization. This is... This is the method or this is the changes that will take place on um, September of 2019. Ilang buwan na lang ba? Three months? Two months. Two and a half. Sobrang ano na lang. So you have two and a half months to practice pa. So I explain muna. Campaign budget. Ang campaign budget is a budget you set at the campaign level. Diba, diba nga kahapon diniscuss natin na ano ba yung nasaset sa campaign? Objective. And then yung budget, yung how much, di ba, ang sub-ad set kahapon was um, who, where, how much, at saka when. Come September, yung how much will not be on the ad set. Right now, it's still on the ad set, as you can see here. Right now, it's still on the ad set. If you look at this one... Ah, naka-CBO kasi ito. Pero, pakita ko na lang sa inyo yung iba, yung hindi naka-CBO. Ito na lang. Start over. So, when you come to the, ano, to the campaign, and you go to the ad set level, you go, you can see here, budget and schedule. Ad set level to. You see budget and schedule. Because right now, it's not yet September pa. So, you see here, you can set the daily budget. Like this one. No? But come September, the budget will be set on the campaign. So right now, it optional pa siya. It is still optional right now. Look at this button. You can turn this on, you can turn this off. So this is the campaign budget optimization option. So if I turn this on, ayun, asan yung daily budget? Okay? It is in the campaign. Right now, it is optional. You can turn this on, you can turn this off. But come September, this is not optional anymore. You will need to set your budget at the campaign level. Okay? Now, wait, I will tell you na right now, I will teach you how to adjust on this so that come September, sanay na kayo sa CBO. And split testing in using the campaign budget optimization. I will explain first what is CBO. What is... C, D, O, or Campaign Budget Optimization. Okay, dito muna tayo. First definition, the amount you set can apply to each day the campaign runs, daily budget or over the lifetime campaign period. All campaign budgets use campaign budget optimization. Ibig sabihin, siguro mamaya, basahin ko muna yung definition and mamaya I will draw, I will explain it to you in a layman's term. Basahin ko lang muna. Number two, we optimize, sabi, see, this one, I, ca, I, ca, I just copy-pasted this from Facebook site. From Facebook documentation, kinapi-paste ko lang. Number two, we optimize your budget on real time on your opportunity by opportunity basis. So I, I have already explained to you, di ba? Uh, Facebook will show our ads based on opportunity. Yeah. Based on what specific time, on what specific um, device, would you, you would produce good result, no? Or kung kailan ka lang online. And then our goal is to get you the most result possible and for the cost of the results to align with your bid strategy. So let's draw. Let's explain this on layman's term. Kung ano yung CBO. Alright, so this will become our supplemental lesson kasi medyo malabo yung nasa board natin. So hindi masyadong kita. So I want everybody to understand how CBO works or ang tinatawag nating campaign budget optimization. So in order for you to understand how campaign budget optimization works, we are going to compare the old way and the new way. Ang old way kasi, um, ang budget will be set, was set on the ad set level. Sa new way, the budget will be set on the campaign level. Alright, so let's begin to um, discuss what's the difference and how we can better understand how this works. 
meron muna tayong mga um, preliminary na mga um, concept na kailangan niyong maintindihan. First concept that you must understand is FB ads is showing your ads per opportunity basis. Okay? Opportunity. Ayan ko tamang spelling ba yan? Ganun ba yun? Ayan, whatever. So, per opportunity basis, si Facebook ads. Number two, each opportunity is merong cost. Cost per opportunity. So, merong cost yan. Iba-iba ang cost. So, third concept. Ang tinatawag nating predictive predictive action a logarithm rhythm okay so ang predictive predictive action a logarithm this is facebook's um, artificial intelligence which can predict um, kung anong oras what time of the day would you most likely take an action alam kasi ni facebook kung example um, you are going to purchase you have a purchase history data. Alam ni Facebook yan and what time you most likely do it. Alam niya yon. What time of the day you would most likely purchase or kahit hindi purchase, pwede rin ano, um, sign up. So example, merong sign up form. What time of the day would you most likely sign up? So whatever um, optimization yung gusto ng advertiser, ang mga users ni Facebook, Facebook knows each user's activity and what time um, each user would most likely take that action. So, ano, um, pwedeng purchase, pwedeng um, landing page view, all of those na mga optimizations, um, meron tayong time opportunity and each opportunity meron tayong cost. Iba-iba ang cost niyan. So, let's explain further na. Take into scenario the old way, okay? So we have here the old way. The old way wherein the budget budget was set on the ad set level. Alright. So meron tayong um, single campaign here. So this is your campaign. And then, in this scenario, let's say na... This campaign has three ad sets. Ad set 1, ad set 2, and ad set 3. Okay. Example, no? Example, meron tayong um, per ad set, we budgeted it na tig 100 pesos ang daily budget, no? So, 100 pesos daily budget. Ito is 100 pesos daily budget. Ito naman, 100 pesos daily budget. And this one, 100 pesos daily budget also. And let's say na sa ad set number 1, we have 4. 4 opportunities na available. And per opportunity, ang cost per opportunity is 50 pesos. So, we have here 1, 2, 3, 4, and per opportunity is 50 pesos. Okay. And then, let's say na sa ad set number 2, we have 6 opportunities, and per opportunity, tag 20 pesos naman. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, opportunity for optimization to, ha? So, opportunity for result. Ang result is, it could be na purchase, it could be landing page view, it could be sign-ups, or whatever optimization yung gusto mo. So, we have here 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, and 20. And then, sa third naman, is we have 5 available optimization, and ang first 3 available natin na mga opportunity is tag 10 pesos each. And then, ang um, fourth opportunity is medyo mahal, tag 70 pesos. And ang pinakalas na opportunity is mas lalo nagmahal, which is 80 pesos. So, let's run this ad. Example, this ad now is currently running. So, sa 100 pesos na daily budget mo, 
it can only afford dalawang singtag si 50 or 250 pesos optimization. So, first optimization, 50 pesos, you are going to afford that. And the second optimization is 50 pesos. So, all in all, na-spend na yung budget mo. Your 100 pesos was spent to get two opportunities and per opportunity is 50 pesos. So, it could, it could not afford further optimization. Meron pa sana mga available dito na mga opportunity, pero hindi na yan ipapakita ni Facebook Ads because ubus na yung daily budget mo. So, at the end of the day, ad set number one got two results got two results. And, ang daily ad spent on budget 1, naubos yung budget ng 100 pesos. Now, sa ad set number 2 naman, we have 6 na 20 pesos na opportunities. So, yung daily budget mo na 100 pesos, ilang opportunity ang kaya niyang i-afford? Lima. So, ang mangyayari, you will get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 kasi 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, this is 100 pesos. And meron pa sanang isang available na cheap opportunity dito na tag 20 pesos lang sana. Pero it will not show your ads to that person na kasi ubus na. The spent na yung daily budget mo. So at the end of the day, you spent 100 pesos and you got 5 results. 5 results, no? So sa third naman, Sa third ad set, you have 5 available opportunities. 10 pesos, 10 pesos, 10 pesos, and then 70 and 80 pesos. So, sa 100 pesos na daily budget mo, how many opportunities can it afford? So, ito. Pwede to, 10 pesos, so 90 pesos na lang. Ito, 80 pesos na lang natira, and then bibilhin mo to, so 70 pesos na lang. O may natira pang isang opportunity. So, ang mangyayari, at the end of the day, 70 plus 10 plus 10 plus 10, this is 100 pesos, so, you will spend 100 pesos daily budget for ad set number 3 and get 4 results. Results, okay? So, at the end of the day, on the old way, sa old way, ang spent mo is 300 pesos, no? You spent 300 pesos and how many, how many results did you get? You got... Um, 5 plus 4, 9 plus 2 equals 11 results. So, you spend 300 pesos and you got 11 results. That is the data from the old way. Now, let's compare this to the new way, ang campaign budget optimization. So, palitan natin to. So, new way naman tayo ngayon. And then, ang budget sa new way, in business sa adset level, it is now spent or it is now controlled on the campaign level. Okay? Campaign level na. Campaign level. Okay, very good. So, tatanggalin na natin to. For simplicity and so that parehong-pareho yung scenario, um, itong tatlong to, tatlong ad set, lahat ng yan is iipunin natin yung mga ad set nila daily budget and then we are going to set that on the campaign level. So, in na tigwa 100, tatlong tigwa 100, isang tig 300 na lang. Alright, so, at the campaign level, your budget will be 300 pesos daily. Okay? 3 pesos daily budget set on the campaign level. Now, para ano, hindi tayo malito, um, ulitin natin yung mga opportunities dito. Pero syempre, same scenario pa rin. Sa, sa ad set number 1, we have 4 Opportunities available and per opportunity is 50 pesos. Sa ad set number 2 naman, we have 6 opportunities na available. Two, 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 uh, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20. So, 20 pesos each. And then, sa third naman, we have 1, 2, 3. Um, 3, tag 10 pesos na opportunity para klaro. And then, meron tayong isang tig 70 at saka isang tig 80 pesos na opportunity. Alright. So, in this case, since nasa campaign level na yung optimization natin, and by default, ang bidding natin is lowest cost, same as before. Kasi, before, ang, ang um, assumption natin is sa old way, is naka lowest cost yung bid optimization. Meaning, uunahin ni Facebook, i-consume or bilhin yung mga cheap optimization, yung mga murang optimization muna, tsaka na niya bibilhin yung mga mahal, yung mga higher price na optimization. So, 
Tingnan natin to. Sa 300 budget daily mo, ang mangyayari, uunahin muna natin bilhin or uunahin muna ni Facebook bilhin yung mga cheaper optimization. Example, itong tatlong 10. So mangyayari, itong tatlong 10 na to, ito yung unang bibilhin. 10, 10, and 10. So, ano na lang? Thir- you g- gumasas ka na ng 30 pesos. So, magkano na lang natira? So, sa 300 daily budget mo, 270 na lang. And meron pang cheaper opportunities dito, which is itong tag-2020 pesos, no? So, ang gagawin ni Facebook, since naka-lowest cost bid tayo, uunahin niyang bilhin din ang mga opportunities na to. Okay. So, now, 20, 20, So, this is 120 pesos and this is 30 pesos. So, you spent 150 pesos of your um, daily budget na. And then, meron ka pang natitirang 150 pesos. So, on, on your 150 pesos, you will be able to afford or your campaign will be able to afford three optimizations itong tatlong tag-50. So, 50 plus 50 plus 50 equals 150. So, all in all, at the end of the day, you spent 300 pesos and you got how many opportunities? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Now, ibig sabihin ito, sa new way, sa same spent, which is 300 pesos daily, but you got more results. Results here. So, you have now 12 results. You know, you know why? Bakit nga ba on the same budget, you got more results? Kasi nga, you were able to utilize your budget well. Kasi merong available na 20 pesos dito na murang budget, pero um, yun ang unang na-afford. Imbis na bilhin itong 50 pesos na to na medyo mahal, inuna muna ang mga mura na mga, optim- na mga opportunities. That's why your budget was able to achieve more results because CBO or using campaign level optimization, your budget will be spent at the at most na ano optimization at most precision alam kasi ni Facebook which opportunity of the day is ang mura and alam niya kung saan ilalagay yung daily budget okay Facebook knows about that so that is the comparison natin sa old way and sa new way ngayon naman let us discuss the best practices and how you can manage your campaign budget optimization. So, ganito. Sa old way kasi, on the old way, on the old way, we were controlling based on the ad set. And pag meron tayong nakitang ad set na mataas yung cost per result, di ba? usually, we turn off that ad set, and then yung mga ad set na maganda yung cost per result, that is the ad sets na matitira, and yun yung magpapatuloy na ad set sa atin. Pero, On the campaign level optimization or campaign budget optimization, Facebook discourages na i-turn off mo ang ad sets. Dini-discourage siya ni Facebook. What Facebook wants is, pag gumawa ka na ng campaign budget optimization or CBO campaign, pabayaan mo na to. You are going to um, um, judge the campaign based on the results ng ano ng mother campaign not on the individual ad sets kasi ang question what would happen no what would happen if um pinakaelaman mo or you controlled each of the ad set so let's ano muna let's brainstorm sa ad set number one on the campaign level optimization di ba ang spent ng ad set one is 50 50 50 so on your 150 parang ang nangyari ang spending sa ad set 1, you spent 150 pesos. Tama? Parang sa ad set 1, it's as if you spent 150 pesos and got 3 results. Kasi 50 to eh. 50, 50, 50. So, you spent 150 and got 3 results. So, ang mangyayari, 3 results. 3 results. So, how much ang cost per results mo? How much is your cost per result? So, 150 divided by 3. So, mangyayari, your cost per result or CPR, para hindi na tayo mag-ano, um, hindi na medyo mahirapan, CPR, or ang cost per result for ad set 1, in this case, kung titinan mo, ha, ang assumption natin dito, guys, is 
nakakampaign budget optimization ito ha. Ito rin yung makikita mo sa dashboard mo. So, ang CPR natin o cost per result for the ad set 1 is 50 pesos cost per result. Then, what is our CPR or cost per result sa ad set 2? So, ang mangyayari, how much did we spend sa ad set 2? So, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20. So, we spent 150 pesos, 120 pesos. So, mas mataas yung spending natin dito kaysa dito, di ba? And yung cost per result natin or ang CPR is 120 divided by 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 or 6 results. So, we have 20 pesos, no? 20 pesos CPR. So, your CPR or cost per result is 20 pesos. So, mangyayari siya yung, ano, so far, mas better ang perform, uh, mas better yung nakukuha nating CPR sa ad set number 2 kesa sa ad set number 1 kasi ang ad set number 1, we get 50 pesos cost per result. Or sa isang result, 50 pesos dito rin, sa isang result, 20 pesos. Now, let's go to ad set number 3. Sa ad set number 3, we spent 1, 2, 3, 30 pesos and get how much? 3 results. So, meaning, we spent... 30 pesos with 3 results. So, 30 divided by 3. So, ang CPR or ang cost per result, no? ang CPR ng ad set number 3 is just 10 pesos. You will be able to see this also on your campaigns, on your ano, on your dashboard. Ah, magtataka ka, bakit nga ba sa ad set number 3, ang cost per result ko is 10 pesos lang, pero mas malaki ang ginastos ni Facebook sa ad set number 1 which is mahal yung CPR. So ang mangyayari, you will be tempted to turn off ad set 1. ba? You will be tempted to turn off ad set 1. So what if, no? What if? What if we turned off ad set 1? Okay kasi mahal. Ang cost per result niya is 50 pesos. So if we turn off ad set 1, what would happen? So that is what we are going to play along here. So erase na muna natin to. Alright, i-erase na muna natin. Again, I am trying to say to you what Facebook is recommending. Facebook really recommends na wag mo nang galawin yung mga adset sa loob. Pabayaan mo na siyang mag -run. Kasi nga, Facebook does not operate the way you expect it. If you do not know how CBO, expect, uh, how, how CBO works, so let's uh, do a third result here, diba? Old, old way, new way. Let's ito naman yung ano, way na you edit. Ito yung edited, meaning you turn off one ad set. So diba before, we have one campaign. no? And sa campaign natin, we have 300 pesos na daily budget per day ito. And then, on our campaigns, we have 1, 2, 3, we have 3 ad sets, no? Ad set number 1, ad set number 2, and ad set number 3. Okay, so same scenario. Sa ad set number 1, um, ang mangyayari, meron tayong 4 na optimization na 50. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, and this is 50. 50, 50, 50. Ito naman is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Lahat ito is stick to 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, and then 20. And dito naman, sa third is we have 1, 2, 3, is stick to 10, 10 pesos. And then naman isang 70, and then isang 80. Okay. So in this scenario, kasi um, nakita natin, di ba, um, na medyo mahal yung nasa ad set number 1, ang CPR niya is 50 pesos. So, we are now going to turn off ad set 1. And let's see, what results will we get? Okay? Naka-turn off na yung ad set 1, so, hindi na to, these opportunities will not be available anymore. These opportunities will not be available anymore. So, we are left with this opportunity. So, in your 300 pesos daily budget, uunahin muna niyang spend sa mga cheaper opportunities as usual. Example, 10, 10, 10. So, your 300 pesos, when your campaign runs, it will spend first these first three opportunities. So, ang magkano na lang natitira? You will now have 270 pesos 
na matitira kasi you have already bought three opportunities. Now, there is a remaining 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6 na tig to 20 pesos. So, mangyari, this is cheap. So, mangyari, your, your campaign or yung CBO will also buy these cheaper opportunities. Okay? So, ang mangyari, ang total spend mo na ngayon is 120 plus 30. You spent 150 pesos. So, may natitira ka pang 150 pesos. Pero, there's no more available opportunities dito. Kasi nga, you turned off this campaign. So, ang mangyayari, Facebook will have no choice. Since this is the only available opportunity, Facebook will buy this opportunity even if they are expensive. So, ang mangyayari, Facebook will buy this one. 70 pesos. So, sa 150 pesos mo, magkano lang ang natira? 150 pesos minus 70, um, that is equal to 80 pesos, right? Tama. Kasi 8, um, tama nga, um, 70 plus 80, right? So, ang matitira, 80 pesos na lang. So, mayayari, Itong 80 pesos na to, since may natitira pang 80 pesos, Facebook will spend also this 80 pesos. So, magkano na yung total ad spend mo? So, we have here 70 plus 80, 150, 180 plus 120 equals 300. So, on the edited level, dito sa portion na to, wherein pinakialaman mo yung ad set, tinurn off mo yung isang ad set, how many, how many results did you get? So, you spent, as usual, 300 pesos, but your results now is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So you now have 10 results. So ano nangyari? Imbis na makabuti pa, imbis na merong akala mo, you thought na your campaign would do better results if you turn off this one, ang nangyari is nakasama pa. Your campaign, this is actually the lowest, no? This is the lowest of all. Ito, you got 11 results. Ito, you got 12 results. Ito naman, you got 10 results. So, this is what would happen if pinakialaman mo yung campaign mo. Pag, pag naka, ano ka, CBO. So, guys, um, this is very important. If you are running a CBO campaign, wag mo nang gagalawin yung nasa loob. Just let it be. Even if you think na Uy, ang mahal ng CPR dito or cost per results, mahal dito sa ad set one, so I'm gonna turn this off. It will produce, um, it will more likely produce bad result than good result. Kasi nga, based sa pinakita ko sa inyo, Facebook does not distribute your budget. Depende kung sino yung mas maraming engagement. No, that is not the, um, the proper definition. Ang ginagawa kasi ng CBO, it distributes your budget depending on the cheaper opportunity available. Okay? So, ang common convention kasi natin or common understanding is Facebook will spend your budget to the most engaging. No, that's not true. So, um, naintindihan na to. I hope you understand our three scenarios here. Ang first scenario natin is the old way wherein our control was the was on the ad set level. And on the ad set level, we got 11 results with our 300 spent. And dito naman, this is our second um, scenario wherein we did campaign budget optimization and we let Facebook do the magic. So, si Facebook nang bahala ang artificial intelligence ni Facebook and we got 12 results. Dito naman, sa last scenario, even though we did CBO, even though naka-campaign budget optimization tayo, pero pinakialaman natin, we turn off the ad set na who we think na mataas yung cost per result. So, ang nangyari, it yielded lesser result. Kasi nga, we do not know. We do not have that information. Only Facebook have the information what opportunities is available per ad set and how much are those opportunity cost. Sa ad set number 3 kasi, even though meron siyang tatlong murang opportunities, tatlong tig 10 pesos, pero ang kasunod na opportunity niya is mga mahal na. So, we do not have that data. It's better let Facebook do the magic because Facebook has all the data it needs to run your campaign better than we do. Alright? So, recap tayo. I'm gonna erase this. Ano yung mga key takeaways? 
key takeaways is number one, when running CBO or campaign budget optimization, no edits, no turn, no turn off of ad sets. And then last but not the least, judge by campaign. Okay? So you are now going to judge by campaign. So if you are running a CBO, do not judge by the ad set that you see inside. Kung ano yung mga performance ng mga ad set sa loob, pabayaan mo na yun. Um, that will not be your KPI. That will not be your benchmark. So, ang KPI mo na ngayon, you are going to look at the campaign level. Okay? So, I hope naintindahan nyo yung illustration natin dito on how campaign budget optimization works. So, let's now continue with our live lesson. So, ito yon. Picturean nyo. So, 10 pesos opportunity, 10, 10, 10. So, in your $10 budget, so 1, 2. So, you have 10 conversions with your $10 budget. Pero dito naman, you get more conversions. So, medyo mas maganda kasi explain ko dito sa board kesa dyan. Sa so first look nyo kasi parang, di ba pag first look nyo yan, ano yan? <laughs> How, how would you explain CBO with that? That's why I draw it on the board. Nakita niyo na? Yeah. You understand now? Yes, yes. Kasi the unspent budget on the other ad sets, you can utilize that to spend for other opportunities. Yes. No? Simple give and take. Okay. Ito yung sinasabi ni Facebook. To help you spend your budget more efficiently. Di ba yun yung nangyari? Uh -huh. more, more efficient spending of your budget. To help you spend your budget more efficiently, we're moving budget to the campaign level starting on September 2019. Eligible accounts have received this notice and will, be begin, will, will begin using campaign budget optimization for new and existing campaigns in September. So ngayon, di ba nakita, nakita nyo na kanina that we have the option to use it already. Para come September, we already know how to use it because it will become compulsory na. All right. So, after September 2019, you can still control spending at the ad set level by using the ad spend limit. So, iba na ang control. So, although you can set the budget, although the budget was spent, will be set on the campaign level, but still you will have controls, limitations na lang. So, example, you can tell Facebook na on this specific ad set, uh, ad set Facebook, uh, I'm gonna set a control. You will not spend more than 100 pesos. Yun lang ang magiging controls mo. Uh, you can set uh, limitations lang per uh, per ad set. But to set what budget really should Facebook spend per ad set, you will not be able to ano na, to set that. To understand how campaign budget optimization distributes your budget, pay attention to the total number of optimization events for your campaign and the average cost per optimization event at the campaign level instead of each ad set. So, so what that means is on layman's term, the old way, so is, if this is your, ano, if this is your uh, ad sets, you would look for the result per ad set here. You would look for the per result. Makakita mo kasi yung results dito eh. Okay, wait lang. So yun, you will set per result. And then if the result does not, if you don't like the result, you can turn off the, ano, you can turn off that specific, um, ito. You can turn off the specific uh, campaign if you don't like the result, uh, the, the specific uh, ad set. But Facebook discourages now to turn off the ad sets. Instead, we are now going to look at na ngayon on the result, sa result, on the campaign level. So if we don't like the result on the campaign level, we are just now gonna turn off the campaign. But turning off the ad set within sa loob is not recommended. Uh, campaign na. You will not so, yun yung, yun yung ibig sabihin nun ni Facebook dito. Ito, sa last uh, paragraph. To understand how your campaign budget optimization deserves your budget, pay attention to the total number of optimization events for your what? Campaign. For your campaign. And the average cost per optimization event at the campaign level instead of what? Instead of the ad set. 
Ang old way kasi, we were deciding per onset, but now, we will now decide based on the mother, based on the campaign level. Okay? So, nagets na ang campaign budget level? So, now, when you create a campaign para mas maging masanay ka, just create this one, and then choose an objective, and then... Come September, no need na to turn on that button because that will be automatically shown. Ito. So you, you are now going to set this budget. Now, here's the catch. How much will your budget be? How, how, can, you, ano, how can you set your budget there? So what I can tell is there's a minimum. The minimum budget. So the formula of the minimum budget is, sa Pilipinas kasi, we can do daily budget 40 pesos lang eh. 40 pesos per day, we can do ads na. So the, the, mini, the minimum, the minimum per currency ah, kasi ang minimum is per currency. Sa US, minimum is $1. $5 Australia. Sa Australia, $5? $5. $5? $5. Five Australian dollars minimum, laki ah. Pero on Philippine peso, our minimum for PHP, a uh, minimum per currency, minimum per currency multiplied by desired number of ad sets. Desired number of ad sets. Okay. This is the formula. So, ano, ano yung minimum budget? Example, I want to create five ad sets. I want to create five ad sets because I'm going to test five different audiences. Okay? Now, what is my minimum budget? So, 40 times 5 equals? 200. So, now, that's my minimum budget. I cannot go below. If you want to go below, eh, di bawasan mo yung ad set mo. Gawin mo 4. Ay, 250 kasi ito. Ay, 240 to. 240. Kasi, tama ba? Four times. Tama pala. Kung, kung, if you don't want to spend 200 pesos a day, then you can you just, just remove an ad set. If you remove an ad set, magiging 4 na lang siya. So, magiging 160 pesos na lang ang minimum niya. Tama? But sa US, ang minimum per currency is $1. No? No? So, $1. So, meaning, sa US, ang minimum mo, if you want to create five ad sets, is $5. $5 a day. So, that's the, ano, that's the um, recommended na, I, I mean, the minimum. Pero ngayon, that's the minimum eh. But what's the recommended? So, what's the recommended? Okay. What's the recommended? So, mag-start muna tayo sa easiest. Easiest to recommend. Kasi the easiest to recommend if you already know what your cost per result is. If you already know your cost per result is, then you can set na dito. Madali na lang siya. Example, I have a product. No? I have a product. Ang cost of goods ko for the product, ang cost of goods ko for the product is 50 pesos. I bought per product is 50. And then, ang desired profit ko per product is 500. Grabe, no? Times 10 profit. Example lang naman. That's my desired profit. And then, um, shipping cost. Kasi, kunyari, ang, 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 ano natin dito, our, uh, our case is, we are giving our customers free shipping. So, nasa atin na yung, ano, yung bayad sa shipping. So, example, ang shipping fee is uh, 150 pesos. And then, ang budget natin for the ads or ang CPP natin, cost per purchase, is sabihin na lang natin na we are gonna budget here for 500. So, ang I will price my product 1,000, 1,500, 1,650. That will become my product price. No? 
So if this is my product price, I know na already na I can go up to 500 pesos per result. No? If I can go up to 500 pesos per result, meaning I can get 500 pesos profit. Kasi budgeted siya eh. Kuha nyo? Yeah. Alright. So now I know my result. And how many results do I want? Yun ang tanong. So recommended muna tayo ha. Okay. So assumptions is, assumption number one, you already know your result. You know CPP. So you already know CPP or your cost per result. Ang cost, CPP ha, dap, di ba dapat CPR? Pero dito, nilagay ko CPP kasi cost per purchase. Uh, cost per purchase. O kaya, pwede rin CPA. Cost per customer acquisition. Na? Cost per acquisition. So, I can, ibig sabihin ng CPA, meaning, I can buy a customer for 500 pesos. I can buy a customer for 500 pesos, and if that customer buys to me 1650, I can get still get, I can still get a profit of 500 pesos. So, number two, you already have a pixel on your website. You already have a pixel on your website, and you are optimizing for purchase. So, ang goal mo dito, ang objective mo on your campaign is conversion. No? You are optimizing for purchase, so ang goal mo is conversion. So, sa conversion kasi, meron tayong limit. In order for one ad set to work, using conversion campaign, you must get 50 results in one week. Yun ang minimum. Sabi ni Facebook, in order for Facebook to get stable data, Facebook requires 50 results in one week if you are doing only for conversion campaign. Ha? Ang pinag-uusapan natin dito is conversion campaign, di ba? Sa assumption number two. Okay. So again, if you are doing conversion campaign with the pixel on your website, Facebook requires 50 results in one week. Okay. Before uh, it can optimize. So let's count. 50 results in one week. So 50 results. Per result, I can budget up to 500 pesos. No? That's my budget. So 50 times 500, how much is my um, ads budget? So uh, my ads budget is 25,000. Pero this is 25,000 per week. Kasi 50 results per week. So this is 25,000 per week. So how much per day? Hmm? 25,000 divided by 7. Or, meron ba dyan calculator? 25,000 divided by 7? 3,570? 1. Oh, ganun. Pesos per day. Okay? So, 3,571 per day. So, ngayon, doon na ako mag-aano. Diyan na ako mag-base. So, my daily budget ngayon is, ito, 3,578. So, that is what I'm gonna put up here. 3,578. So, it depends on your cost per result. Now, what if I don't have a cost per result yet? Now, let's go to ano naman. Um, clear na ba? Paano ito kunin? Ito, itong 50, 50 results in one week, this is from Facebook, ah. I got it from Facebook. This is not haka-haka. So, this is an ad set. So, kung makikita nyo dito, per ad set, titinan natin sa campaign, ah. Let's go to delivery, ad set learning. Tingnan natin dito. About 50 purchases recommended in 7 day period. 7 day period is what? One week, di ba? So, Facebook recommends 50 results in one week. So, kaya dito ko nakuha yan. So, meaning, if you know your cost per result, multiply that by 50, divide that by 7, that is your recommended daily budget. If you want to one ad set, 
One ad set lang yan. One ad set to work. I mean, one ad set to become the winner. One ad set to become the winner. So, using this, how many ad sets can I create? Madali lang. 3, 5, 7, 8, divide by 40. Magkana ba? Ha? Huh? So I can create with this budget with three five with three five seven one but daily budget I can create maximum of eighty one max of eighty one ad sets pandame no so yun yung maximum of ad sets na magagawa mo maximum laman yan hindi naman ibig sabi na kaila required yan that's not required so meaning if you can create just three ad sets four ad sets okay na yun. Okay na yan. So, given the structure, no? Let's let's structure this one. Let's structure this one. Um, ang mangyayari, if you create a campaign based on this, um, you have a campaign, no? This is your campaign. Okay. Now, Example, you have four audiences, no? CL, Etude Philippines, uh, Beauty, blah, 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 Magazine. So, lahat yun. Gumawa ka na ng mga save audience or whatever. And then, nag-set ka na ng budget mo. Three, five, seven, eight daily budget. So, you have now four ad sets. Ad set one, two, three, four. So, what would happen is, Facebook will distribute evenly, uh, evenly. Facebook will get which of these ad sets have the lowest um, opportunities first. So, Facebook will spend the lowest opportunity and ang mangyayari, if this specific ad set, kunyari, si ad set 1, si ad set 1 has a lot of cheap opportunities. Ang mangyayari, Facebook will shift the budget will spend more on ad set one. Facebook will prioritize to the ad set which would yield cheaper results. So, ibig sabihin, parang magiging ganito yung itsura niya. Ito, CBO, ito eh. This is a campaign budget, campaign, optimiza, uh, campaign optimization budget na ano. Um, so, tinanin niyo yung ad spent natin. Spent. Spent, spent, amount spent. And then the result. Ganito mangyayari. Facebook spent 3,000 on this ad set. Pero ito, 1,000, but it still generated result. Dito. Kasi nga ang nangyayari is even though mas maraming opportunities dito sa 1,000, but ang wala nang available na cheaper opportunities dito. Kaya hindi na siya nag-spend ng greater than 1,000. The next opportunities on these ad sets is mahal na. But in this case, there are still opportunities for this ad set. Kaya nag-spend si Facebook dito and to get this result. Kuha niyo? Kaya gaya ng pinakita ko kanina. ba? So even though cheaper yung una mong nakuha, like this, cheaper 7 results, kasi 1,000 lang yung nagasos ko, I, I spent 1,000 to get 7 results, Although it's cheap, but it cannot spend anymore because there's no more available opportunity for that na magiging um, worth it. The next opportunities will not be worth it. So instead, Facebook spent the budget here. Good thing ba para sa atin? Agree ba kayo doon sa ginagawa ni Facebook? Do you agree? Yes. Yung result, yung seven result. Ibig sabihin ba, pito yung bumili? O yes. ito ang nag-inquire? Purchase kasi yung campaign natin dito. So tama si sir, my point si sir. Kasi the result, if you are aiming for result, result is based on your objective. So if your objective is, di ba sa campaign level, tinan mo sa campaign level natin dito, our campaign, the objective of our campaign is, um, ito, conversions. The objective of campaign is conversion, and I was optimizing for purchase. So the result that you are seeing is purchase. Pero if your ano naman, 
if your um, if your objective is engagement, the cost per results that you would see is cost per engagement. Uh, yes. Can I ask, the purchase happen in the Facebook page or it happen in your website? What? The purchase the purchase happened on my website because this is pixel data. The data that you see here is because of pixel reporting to my ad set. All of this one, this came from the website. The purchase happened in the landing page that you have. Yes, 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 yes. But Facebook will know. Yes, because of pixel. Because of pixel data. So if you don't have a website and you don't have a pixel, you will not enjoy the benefits of conversion campaign. Because this conversion campaign, this one, um, yeah, I'm going to this one. This one, conversion and catalog sales, these two features will only be enjoyed for those advertisers who have a website and a working pixel. If you do not have a website and a working pixel, then forget about it na lang. Kasi this is not for you. If you want to unlock this very powerful feature, create a website yes. with a pixel. Kuha? Yes. Yes. Um, um, yes. Yes. Any, 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 there's no such thing as footprint. Because every time you click a button, it sends signal to Facebook. Every time there's a purchase, every time there's an example, book an inquiry. Every time you submit an inquiry, and that inquiry is tied with the pixel data, then it will send data to Facebook, and Facebook will report, oh, you have two inquiries. Oh, you have five inquiries. So, sir, it's applied to all? All. All. Does it matter you are sending... Uh... Yes, if you yes, if you want services, okay, yeah, kahit nga ano eh, uh, phone number submit. If if that if you have a website who is asking for a phone number, if that customer submits a phone number, it can be reported on your dashboard na you have you have five unique phone submits. In my field, I always put the ano the viewing. Oh yes, viewing like that. Example, sa case na sir. Free viewing, schedule for a free view. So, mangyayari dito sa cost per result mo, you can only you can only target, optimize for cost per view or cost per free viewing if you have a website. And that website has a pixel event connected to the view submit. Example, may form sa sir. Ito yung itsura ng website, no? Mm. Merong website dyan. And then merong form si sir dito. There's a name. Name, email, phone number, and then my button dito. Ang button nakalagay dito, ang nakalagay, ang call to action is schedule a free tripping. Okay, so this is your website. This is your logo, this is your menu, and then this is your headline. If you schedule a free tripping, I will give you a free car. Like that. <laughs> Like that, and then you have the benefits. If you have a car, you have girls like that. If you have a new house, you will get many kids like that. So if this is your website, if uh, if I uh, know if a customer goes here, inputs the name, inputs the email, inputs the phone number, and then clicks submit, and this is submitted, it will be reported back to your dashboard here. It will be reported back here. So you, what you can see here, ang cost per result mo na ngayon, once you see result here, the result here now will be 20 phone submits or 20 inquiries. So, sorry if you don't have a website, you will not be able to enjoy that. So, paano mag-ano lang Facebook pixel? Mamaya, on the pixel topic. We are yet on the CBO. Okay, so na-understand nyo na ang campaign budget optimization? Do you understand? How uh, CBO works? Good, right? Yes. So, madali lang naman gumawa ng CBO. How to create a CBO campaign? Create. And then, balik tayo dito ha. 
create. And then pagdating dito, di ba, this is the first interface that you would see once you create a campaign. Yes. Just select an objective. Example, conversion. And then you just on this one. Yun na yun. Once you turn that on, that's already a CBO. Easy? Yes. Easy. So, yun. You can, you can select continue. And then you can create an ad set here. And then you can create your ads there. Okay. So, yun. Um, balik lang natin sa testing natin. Oh, sige. I will show more mamaya pag nasa testing period na tayo. Pero at least I stress out my point about campaign budget optimization. Now, it's already 12.15. Uh, sa next, ano natin, sa afternoon, we will uh, talk about testing, pixel, and then we will talk about um, bid strategies. So, more on that later this afternoon. So, ad actually, sobrang laki pa ng topic, but I really believe, unahin ko muna yung very, very important topics, which is ang CBO, testing, at saka yung, yung, yung copywriting, very important. Um, selecting audiences. Pero yung mga the rest, yung mga add-ons, yung creating canvas campaign, creating that's lesser important na eh. Ang important is, you understand how to structure your campaign, important how to find your audience, how to create a, a well-crafted message. Important is, um, yun, um, how, you can, ano, how you can do bidding, split testing. So, yun. Pixel data, very important also. So, see you again this afternoon. Pag-kompleto na tayo, let's start.